Hello viewers, Marianne from Revealing Light Tarot. Um, wherever you are in the world, uh, a huge shout out to you. Thank you for watching. I wanted to look at Capricorn for the month of June 2021. This is for your sun sign, your rising sign. If you've got a moon in Capricorn, this reading might be for you. It's a general reading. So um, if it resonates, uh, claim it. If it doesn't, uh, move on. I'm going to be starting with my Revealing Light Oracle and then I think I'll move into the Good Tarot. But I've got a number of options for decks. But let's see how what I'm drawn to at the time that I'm reading. Okay, so some overarching messages for Capricorn for the month of June. Some overarching messages for Capricorn for the month of June. Overarching messages. You could have um, visitors. I'm getting that pulled to uh, literally, I'm not saying rolling the red carpet out, but, um, you know, cleaning, clean, literally uh, cleaning house, getting ready for an important event. So that energy has come forward. Um, it's like somebody's arriving. You could even welcome a new addition to your family. Um, contemplation, what lies beyond is a new pathway and beginning. Yeah, this is a beginning um, because I see people in a boat moving. Uh, there's movement here. This is Jupiter energy. Um, a, a new beginning of some sort for Capricornians in June. Willpower, right use of will. Now we have a Uranus energy here. Um, and this is uh, again around change. Um so ending things and beginning something new. And yeah, we've got cancer, Cancerian energy, Venus energy. Um, and this, again, is, is like an unconditional love. I think some Capricornians will be starting something new. I think uh, within their family, there could be new uh, emergence, new, new additions. Um, you could also be welcoming visiting family um, it's around the heart and it's around um, a new uh, cycle, which I feel you've already begun, which centers on this more loving energy. It's like a right use of willpower here. You've learned the lessons from the past in terms of how you relate to loved ones family, friends, co-workers. It's something around softening your communication here and coming from a heart-centered approach. Yeah, connections at the base of the pack, uh, recognizing the spark of divinity in yourself and in others. And we've got uh, change here. Uh, this is that Saturn energy. So the Uranus squaring Saturn aspect, I think has particularly hit you. Uh, Saturn is your ruler. It's like the ways that you were relating before uh, are changing. Um, and it's like you understood the pitfalls of communicating or relating uh, or going in that same direction. And you're actually willingly changing uh, and moving on. Uh, toward a healing here. This is healing of the identity uh, in a big way, Capricorn. And as a result, it allows you to explore horizons, go places uh, in your development um, that you may not have gone or been able to access before. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. So let's move to the good tarot and drill down uh, with more cards as to what the main issues, challenges, the main issues, challenges, opportunities, gifts that you will experience in June. What are the main issues, opportunities, challenges, gifts that Capricorn will be experiencing in June? Okay, no need to shuffle too much. Okay, so we've got the moon. Now this could be a number of things because we have a, we've just come off the back of a lunar eclipse in Sagittarius. Again, 
bringing forward change. Uh, we will feel the effects of that eclipse uh, for the next six months. We also have a solar eclipse in Gemini. So that, you know, communications coming to the surface, hearing from family members you haven't heard from for a while, people from the past coming back in. So the moon card, watch those, uh, the, the eclipse uh, in Gemini, I think. What day, date is I think it's around the 10th of June. So we've got the Six of Pentacles giving and receiving help. Um, so the moon can be emotions as well, upsurge of emotions. It's that water cancerian energy. And the Six of Earth, you could be asked to help a family member or a friend uh, as well in, in uh, June. Let's see what else is there. The Ten of Cups. Yeah, family is really accented for you. Family in June, Capricorn, is so... Yeah, it's a huge theme for all Capricornians in June. The Ten of Cups. Love, unconditional love. So again, this heart chakra. I feel you're an Earth. You're an Earth energy. But you've got a pull toward your emotions in June. And the call, you've left something behind in the past. You knew it and you've changed. There's a change. I think a lot of Capricornians have changed. Okay, the five of fire, which is crowning this reading, which is the five of wands, this push-pull. It can be, you know, it can be divisions. It can be comp competitive type energy. Let's see what that is about here. I'm just getting a pull. So we've got to the family chariot. Um, something new starts. Something new will start also for you in June. Um, what is this? Ten of fire, ten of wands, finishing old cycles, deciding to re literally burn away old habits from the past you know the 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 card here uh, talks about burning a note uh, or burning a lot of notes um, you know therapists will say if you write something down and then and then destroy it um, ceremoniously by burning the note safely <laughs> um, you actually cleanse. So you're cleansing, you're clearing and cleansing out Capricorn. And I do feel it is uh, a way that you've had of communicating, of relating, of loving even in the past. It didn't quite serve you. And you're cluey enough to know when change is necessary. The high priestess is the subconscious. This is yeah, again, just knowing, in and knowing at a very deep level that you had to change. You had to change. The page of water in the hopes and fears. This is children, the draw that I got to perhaps family visiting or new additions to the family. This Somebody could also bring forward an offer of peace. If you've been battling with any anyone close, this can be friends, can be workmates. Uh, you could be offered an apology or you might be hoping for an apology. But I'm also getting that you might, you might apologize. And sometimes that can be through changing the way that you relate, can bring forward this loving energy and these new starts in relationships. So I do feel it's all about being authentic, wisdom, the queen of swords, being authentically you. This is a reconnection with you as, and again, the eclipse in Gemini, a reconnection with a heart-centered part of you that may have been lost for some time. It's going to stabilize things. It's going to improve your relationships, the three of pentacles. It's going to improve your life. It's going to allow you to explore change, explore new horizons. This is a new cycle for you. And the six of cups, your higher self, the past 
taking the best of the past. The Six of Cups. Reuniting with people from the past. You're coming back into yourself. The Nine of Wands at the base of the pack. You put up too many boundaries. The Eight of the eight of wands, it's like these real, the eight and the nine. You have been thinking about these aspects for some time. And it's almost like you got the push, the push with the Hierophant card to change, to change the way you do things. And we've got your energy here. Queen of Earth, stability, the home. So in June, I feel for Capricornians that the home is in focus. It's like the center of your universe. Loved ones, family, friends are also at the center of your universe. Um, you could be receiving visitors. You could have new additions to your family, but... So really, I guess, at a deeper level, you have brought something to a close within yourself that was no longer serving you and you've embraced a change which will lead. It's like this heart sent its opening, the opening of your heart chakra. And as a result, that's going to lead to so much Joy in the future, joy, happiness. So I think it's a good change for you, Capricorn. I really do. I look forward to reading for you in July because I just feel there are new starts here. Absolutely new starts for you. And I look forward to seeing what they are. Okay. Thank you for tuning in. I'll be back again soon with another reading.